diversity and inclusion are sort of like peanut butter and jelly. They're really very different things, but they're often put together. So let's, let's talk about what inclusion is first, because we understand the, the demographic and the, the intellectual aspects of diversity. But inclusion is more than people assume it is. So there are multiple levels of inclusion. So you can go on one continuum in inclusion from uh, exclusion to fully feeling belonging. But, but that doesn't mean you have inclusion. Because you could have scenarios where people belong, but they do so by sacrificing their, their uniqueness. They sa sacrifice their point of view. They assimilate to the population or to the group. You also have scenarios where people do not feel that they belong, but they are accepted by the organization because they're differentiators. They have a high amount of information. Um, you know, for instance, in IT, a programmer may be a differentiator. They are not your most social, necessarily, stereotype, but they, they know their work and they're necessary for the business. So making them feel included and belonging is a little more challenging. But, but assimilation, I think, is the most dangerous. Because when people assimilate, they give up their contributions. They accept whatever they're being told uh, to varying degrees. And what, that, what happens is they lose their, self, they lose their sense of self-identity, of self-esteem, and the company loses their contribution and their uniqueness. So when we look at inclusion, we look at all four aspects and the variations across them. When we talk about inclusion, it's far more complex than just feeling like you belong.